Hi, this is Lisa from Local Cooking Rubber Stand. Today I'm going to show you a quick demo how to use a low cooking magic mushroom and also what's different between the sponge head and the brush tip. Let's start it. Okay, we have a Low Cooking's uh, brand new tool. It's called Magic Mushroom. They come with a tin mushroom, a set. And uh, each mushroom come, uh, come with an individual storage uh, container, so it helps you to storage uh, your mushroom just like that. And uh, also they have uh, these awesome holding bases. You can place your mushroom on top of uh, these holding bases and they're ready to use. And uh, um, we are going to use a few of these blending brushes to show you what's different between the brushes and the sponges. Some type base impact here, and uh, we have a, a stencil. This is a vinyl stencil, so I already tape on the piece of color cardstock. Also, I have some very detailed dye. So this is I already pre-cut some detailed dye, and I use glossy paper because glossy paper kind of have that kind of finished coat. When you apply the color on top, you can use this stencil, the homemade stencil, again and again. If you um, use like a regular cardstock, once when you wet, you it is easily to um to damage that, and then you have to make a new one. So try to use the, those kind of coated glossy cardstock, and then you can. Re use it again and then after you apply the color it's very easy to wipe off with a white cloth okay so I have a five mementos impact you can use a dye base impact you can use the tin holds distress any dye base in impact will work great for the blending you can use a, a permanent uh, not permanent sorry a pigment impact pigment impact should be worked just fine too but I like to use the dye base because they dry fast and we have a um, Mar uh, local king's magic mushroom here on the bottom one is a used one it looks a little bit dirty but don't worry the mushroom they are designed to use you got to use it so even though the color compared with the new one is kind of different but you can still see from the side yellow is yellow orange is orange so just keep one color tone to one mushroomless and then you can reuse again and again don't judge by this dirty um, dirty top it doesn't matter I have a five uh, brushes and I'm going to show you do a comparing what's different with the magic mushroom and what's different between the brushes okay so that's started um, in this tutorial I would like to um, to mention that I don't mean to attack any other companies the project um, every tool is designed for for their own purpose. It really depends on how you handle the tool, how you use the tool. I will be very sad that people um, create a tutorial and say, oh, Local King's product is not good. So I don't mean to do that. I just want to show you what's different result. Maybe you like this one, or maybe you like that one. Just keep an open mind. We're gonna start with this light green, the pear tart. And so I have my magic mushroom here as a green one. And uh, I want to show you, see, I just draw a very, very, uh, I just draw some color on my scrap paper and I found that my mushroom is actually kind of dirty. I am going to clean it before I use it. So as long as you start from the light color to the dark color, you don't really have to worry about clean your mushroom. So, um. It's very simple to clean. All you have to do is just use a wet cloth, a clean wet cloth, and kind of squeeze the sponge part. Squeeze hard, squeeze hard, okay? And then we are going to use a Kleenex or paper towel or dry cloth, kind of absorb the, the extra color on top of this uh, magic mushroom. And then see, when I draw the other line, my mushroom is from this to this. So they can be clean. And then when you want to use a local king's mushroom, you always remember, start with a lighter color. If it's not enough, we add more. So those mushrooms, they are awesome because you, we're going to start with a um, light green. Brushing is the best way to ink your um, magic mushroom. So brush, brush. And then when you squeeze hard, they got a very, very dark color. And then when you tap, they become a very, very light color. So you can control, you can create, create a different kind, kind of tone, just depend on how hard you, you touch your paper. 
And then this is just a piece of stencil and mount on the uh, color cardstock. Okay, see, I just used the one color. And the, from this corner to this corner, the color is gradually getting light. So that's awesome, right? And now we are going to try to use our um, brushes. Same thing, I brush my ink pack. And then when I tap, that looks like that. And then when I am um, circling around, they do the job too. It's just depend what do you like. Okay, so far on the um when we use the magic mushroom, the color is a little bit darker, and then when you use the brushes, the dye is a little bit softer. So that's what it look like. And then we also if we, let's just see if we can add more. So if I just apply a little bit more, drawing a little circle. That's the best way to apply the color on your surface. So that's what it looks like. Okay. And then we're going to move the second one. The second one, we are going to use a dandelion. So my yellow mushroom, always testing, is quick clean. So we can start again. Brush your mushroom instead of tapping. This time, I'm going to draw a little circle. That's what it look like. Okay, and then if you want to print more, we can pick up more color and then that's the tapping. That's what it looks like. And then now we're going to switch our brushes. So I have my brushes. Same thing, one color, one brushes. Rubbing the color on top and then drawing a circle. So I think the brushes, the color is softer than the sponges but I don't think so they work well when you tapping unless you want to get a special effect okay so that's move to the third one I'm going to use the uh, tangelo so see always testing the mushroom see if the mushroom is clean and then we just pick up some color if it's not enough we pick up more don't try to pick up too much you don't want to make it too dark so that's the purple color and then you can go back kind of blending the two color together too if you want to if you want a lighter color you tap a little bit lighter you want a darker color you just press a little bit harder squeeze the, those uh, color out of it from the out of the sponges and then we are going to use our orange brushes Okay, and let's do the red one. So gently tap tap. I found out when you use the magic mushroom because the coverage, the, the mushroom in the wrong area is bigger. So when you tap, you get a more like a solid, the, the coverage is much better than the brushes. That's what we like. And we're going to apply the red color. Okay, and we're going to do the purple. Okay, and let's do the purple brushes. Okay, so that's what it looks like on the uh, left side is done by the magic mushroom. On the right side is done by the brushes blending tool. That's what it looks like. So I found that on the right side done with the blending tool, the color is a little bit lighter with uh, well, compared with uh, the mushroom, but they both work. So in this tutorial, I'm just to show you what's a different result. I don't mean to attack anybody's product. They all good. They are the tool. It's you, depend on you, how you're going to use it. And then this is a beautiful background that created by Magic Mushroom and also by the br uh, brushes. And my next tutorial, um, not next to yeah, it's just coming soon. Um, next tutorial, I'm going to show you how you're going to create your own stencil, something like that, 
and then create a unique background. Okay, one more thing so before we move to the next uh, um, project, I want you to make sure that ap uh, after you're using your magic mushroom or your brushes, uh, make sure you clean your stencil because those colors, they kind of sit on this plastic. If you don't clean it next time when you apply the other color, it's going to contaminate your artwork. So just gently brush off those dirty color and they are ready for next time. Okay, so I am a stamper. I'm exactly like you. When I purchase something, I want to spend that money for that item. I want to make sure that every penny counts. I want to make sure the money I spend on the product, I can use it again and again, not just use one time. So when we want to purchase a stencil, this is stencil, the price is around $4.99 to $7.99. So they are created by the plastic, right? So you can um, just tape the corner and then you can do your blending. But when you buy the die cut, uh, this is a, a piece of die cut. I don't even remember whose company is die cut. It's just something like 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 these. All the um, so they are so detailed, and there is no place that I can put the tape on top. So how I am going to do that? Okay, I am going to introduce you this. So this is a, a light tack repositionable um spray. So this spray, you can just spray in the back and then they will hold it that uh, hold this uh, detailed die cut the spot you want to. So it's good things. And then what you can do is, uh, um, I'm going to show you both with the uh, sponge and the brush tool. What's it looks the, uh, what's the result? So you can use a shoe box or some like uh, those kind of fire box cover. Um, you use these as a spray spray boot. So um, shaking your glue and then you can just gently spray on top. If you are sensitive to the chemical, make sure you do it outdoor and don't try to do it inside. And then you don't need a lot, just a little bit. That will do the job. Okay, and in the beginning of the tutorial, I tried to explain that try to use the glossy paper. So because the glossy paper, they have a, a, that kind of finish coat. They are not a water resist, but it helps. So you, uh, after you spread it, you're going to use a piece of paper, kind of rubbing on top of this one. So they will kind of stick. See, they don't fall. So they kind of hold right there and then you can do your blending. Okay, and we kind of just use the light blue, tap, 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 tap. So gently tap, tap. Let's just try to tap, tap first. Okay, make sure your fingers are clean. You don't want to have any fingerprint on top. Blah, blah, tap, 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 tap. So it's just kind of bouncing your magic mushroom here. Okay, and you can kind of brush it from inside out. Try to hide your stroke. You want to do this, you got to make sure that your um, die have enough uh, glue on top because I didn't make some boo-boo. I didn't spray enough glue and then when I brush it, my die, um, my dies move. So just make sure you have enough glue or just hold that part of that, but be careful your finger. Um, you don't want to have a dirty print finger. Okay, now I do the second color. Okay. Third color. Kind of brush like this, one direction. If you do like a one direction, you can actually hide your stroke. Okay. Like these. So when I kind of dragging my mushroom, they kind of 
create the, those kind of brushes. I, uh, if you don't like it, you can actually draw in a circle, kind of blending it, but I kind of find out that's kind of unique. So I'm going to keep it like that. And at this time, I'm going to use my darker color and I use my mushroom. I just use the side, kind of rolling it and kind of create some kind of stroke. It doesn't have to be very smooth. It really depends on how you use the, uh, how you join the straw. Like uh, you, you make sure we still hold there or put more glue on top. Okay, and then that's, I'm going to grab one more dark color. So I'm going to use this memento, the darker color. So as long as you use the, your 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 mushroom um, from light to a dark color, you don't really have to worry about the, you know ruining your artwork. Just make sure from the light to the dark. And then now I am using this darkest color, kind of tapping few spot. Okay. Okay, and let's see what it looks like. I'm going to remove. See? Isn't that pretty? I think that's a beautiful background. Now, we're going to do something else. I'm going to use the same die cut. So, gently use a wet cloth, kind of just uh, rubbing the, the color which was setting on top of this die cut. And I'm going to use the thing um, die cut. And then I am going to clean my magic mushroom first. Remember, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And uh, use a uh, Kleenex. Squeeze the extra color off. And I see. It's clean. Okay, this time let's try a different. Let's try two color. So we are going to just apply a light color. Okay, and then kind of holding, but just hold it. Or you can, because of when we are tapping, we don't really drag that stencil um, off the space. So you don't really have to worry about it. Okay. Otherwise, you can put more glue, spray more glue on top. So I found out when we use the magic mushroom, um, because we are tapping, right? So the color is more like smooth. Okay, and then we're going to do a second color, change the location, I mean position. Hit hard, the color is darker. When you release the pressure, the color is softer. Okay, I think that's a really pretty background. And then again, let's do this. We're gonna use a darker color here. Just hold the piece of dye. That's a pretty background, isn't it? And what you can do is again, we're going to clean or magic mushroom here. Okay, squeeze, 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 and absorb the extra ink here. Double check, clean, and then we're going to pick up a lighter color, kind of filling the gap a little bit. Same thing. If you find this white, is it kind of too junk? Like that. I think that's very pretty. So it's just a, a kind of a technique. You can give a try and then you can put anything, a snowbird on top, make a beautiful Christmas car, any car you like. And then go digging your drawers. You can maybe find some other beautiful die cutter you already have and you can create your own stencil. 
So that's what you look like. Magic mushroom with a stencil and your homemade stencil. Okay, I hope you like this tutorial and just finish the other tutorial. This is the next tutorial I'm going to show you. Look at this. This is a really 10 second project. It only need 10 seconds and you can create some kind of bubble and have some special technique I'd like to share with you. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel or like us on Facebook. We are a small company. We need your help. If you like Lisa's tutorial, please share this awesome website with your friend. And uh, thank you for watching. This is Lisa from Local King Robert Stamp. See you next time.